डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज मैग्नेटिज्म भी एक होर क्लास हिस्टेरिसिस एंड न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मैग्नेटिज्म विच ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀਆਂ ਅਤੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਨਾਲ ਰਿਲੇਟਡ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਟਰਮਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਧਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲਾਸ ਅਤੇ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲੂਪ ਦੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਪੜਾਂਗੇ ਆਓ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਜਾਣ ਲਈਏ after the completion of this chapter the students will be able to recall ferromagnetism define hysteresis and hysteresis loss discuss the importance of hysteresis loop solve numerical problems based on magnetism asi jande ha ke jehde magnetic substances nu ਕਿਸੇ ਐਕਸਟਰਨਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਣ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਡੋਮੇਨਸ ਤੇ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਮੂਮੈਂਟਸ ਅਲਾਈਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਣ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫੈਰੋਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਸਬਸਟੈਂਸਸ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ ਦੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਟਰੋਂਗਲੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਾਈਜ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਕੁਝ ਉਦਾਹਰਣ ਹਨ ਆਇਰਨ ਕੋਬਾਲਟ ਨਿਕਲ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੜੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਅਲੋਇਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਐਬਸੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਐਕਸਟਰਨਲ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਫੀਲਡ the domains of a ferromagnetic material are randomly oriented and hence there is no net magnetic moment therefore a ferromagnetic material does not exhibit magnetism in the normal state when placed in an external magnetic field a net magnetic moment develops on it and the degree of alignment is very large even for a small external field the ferromagnetic materials exhibit the properties of paramagnetic substances to a great extent when a piece of iron is brought into a magnetic field it retains some magnetization even after the external magnetic field once magnetized the iron will stay magnetized indefinitely to demagnetize the iron it is necessary to apply a magnetic field in the opposite direction it is found that when a ferromagnetic substance is subjected to a cycle of magnetization that is first it is magnetized in one direction and then in the other then the flux density in the magnetic material lags behind the applied magnetizing force this phenomenon is known as hysteresis that is the phenomenon of lagging of flux density behind the magnetizing force in a ferromagnetic material subjected to cycles of magnetization is known as hysteresis to draw a hysteresis loop let us consider a soft iron cord toroid carrying current i if n is the total number of turns per unit length then magnetizing force h is equal to mu not n i the value of h can be changed by varying current in the coil you can see that when the iron cord toroid is subjected to a cycle of magnetization the resultant b h curve traces a loop called hysteresis loop the term hysteresis is derived from a greek word hysterein which means deficiency or lagging behind if a piece of ferromagnetic material for example iron is subjected to one cycle of magnetization the resultant bh curve or ih curve is a closed hysteresis loop abcd efa called hysteresis loop or a hysteresis curve it can be noticed that b or i always lags behind h thus at point b h is zero but flux density b has a finite positive value ob similarly at point e h is zero but flux density b 
has a finite negative value OE. In the beginning, let the toroid be unmagnetized and the situation be represented by point O. If now H is gradually increased by increasing current in the toroid, B is found to increase along the curve OA and reach a point where further increase in H shows no further change in flux density B. This shows the saturation value at A. All domains are aligned at this stage. If now H is gradually reduced by decreasing current in the toroid, it is found that curve follows the path AB instead of AO. However, at point B, magnetizing force H becomes zero. But flux density in the material does not reduce to zero, rather has a value equal to OB. Thus, some magnetism is left in the specimen which is called residual flux density. It is also called reminiscence or retentivity or residual magnetism. I want you to note that B lags behind H. This effect is called hysteresis. Now, in order to reduce the residual flux density or retentivity in the material to zero, it is necessary to apply H in the reverse direction. This can be done by reversing the current in the toroid. When H is gradually increased in the reverse direction, the curve follows the path BC. However, at point C, B becomes zero, but H has some negative value equal to OC. This value of H needed to eliminate residual magnetism is called coercive force or coercivity. All domains do not remain aligned at this stage and hence their net dipole moment becomes zero. Now H is further increased in the reverse direction until the sample reaches its saturation value in this condition. Here D is the point denoting that the sample has reached its saturated value. If H is now further reduced to zero, point E is obtained and the sample again retains some magnetic flux density. The remaining part of the loop can be obtained by increasing current to produce H in the original direction. Here, the curve A, B, C, D, E, F, A is called the hysteresis loop. In general, the value of the magnetic intensity of a material when the magnetizing field is reduced to zero is called retentivity of the material. Whereas, the value of the magnetizing field required to reduce the retentivity to zero is called coercivity of the material. Ki tusi is hysteresis loop te burn the current soch sakte ho? A h ta maan zero ho jaan te vi domains ti unalignment puri tara na hon karan hunda hai. The area enclosed by the hysteresis loop represents loss in energy as heat. Let us have a look on the cause of energy dissipation due to hysteresis. Jado ik magnetic material no magnetization de ik cycle which on langaya janda hai. Ta is per kriya which kuj energy kharch ho jandi hai. Energy no murke hasil nai kita ja sakda. Ate a specimen which heat the rope which dissipate ho jandi hai. Asal which jado ik specimen no magnetization de ik cycle which on langaya janda hai. Ta specimen which molecular magnets ja magnetic dipoles the orientation ate reorientation var var hundi rendi hai. Material de domains pela ik direction which ate fir duji direction which turn horn no oppose kar de rendi hai. Is opposition no overcome currently material which energy kharch ho jandi hai.
when magnetizing force increases energy is stored in the specimen whereas when magnetizing force decreases some of the energy is given back furthermore when the magnetizing force decreases in opposite direction again energy is stored in the specimen and on increasing the magnetizing force again some of the energy is given back for a complete cycle of magnetization there is loss of energy this loss is in the form of heat and is called hysteresis loss it can be seen that the loss of energy per unit volume of specimen per cycle of magnetization in si system is equal to the area of bh loop the slope of the bh curve tells us the value of the magnetic permeability of the material we can also show that the loss of energy per unit volume of specimen per cycle of magnetization in cgs system is equal to the area of ih loop of the specimen this is also known as warburg's law the exact shape and size of ih or bh loops depend upon the nature of the material of the specimen hysteresis covers a wide range of behavior in magnetic materials in general the response of a material to an applied field and its magnetic hysteresis is an essential tool of magnetometry by studying the hysteresis loops of various magnetic materials we can study the difference in some of their magnetic properties for example retentivity coercivity permeability susceptibility and energy loss etc such studies help us to select suitable materials for different devices like electromagnets transformer cores permanent magnets etc har o electrical machine jis vich lohe de parts var var magnetize hunde hon hysteresis loss vi experience kardi hai is da mukh karan hai machine da temperature rise hona hysteresis loop di shape ate size material de nature utte depend karde han kise khas load layi ferromagnetic material di choice us te hysteresis loop di shape ate size utte depend karti hai ferromagnetic material de hysteresis loop da area jinna chhota hovega hysteresis loss vi unna hi ghat hovega udaharan layi soft iron layi hysteresis loop di shape narrow yani patli ate vaddi hundi hai jad ki स्टील ਲਈ ਇਹ ਚੌੜੀ ਅਤੇ ਛੋਟੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਅਤੇ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲੂਪਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਦੀ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਪਰਮੀਅਬਿਲਟੀ ਸਟੀਲ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਦੀ ਰਿਟੈਨਟੀਵਿਟੀ ਵੀ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੀ ਰਿਟੈਨਟੀਵਿਟੀ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਤੂ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਰਸੀਵਿਟੀ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੀ ਕੋਰਸੀਵਿਟੀ ਤੋਂ ਘੱਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਅਰਥ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਆਪਣਾ ਮੈਗਨੀਟਿਜ਼ਮ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੇ ਮੁਕਾਬਲੇ ਜਲਦੀ ਲੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾਤਰ ਟਰਾਂਸਫਾਰਮਰ ਕੋਰਸ ਅਤੇ ਰੋਟੇਟਿੰਗ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਸ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਵਰਤਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਫਾਸਟ ਮੈਗਨੀਟਿਕ ਰਿਵਰਸਲ ਦੀ ਆਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਹਾਰਡ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲੂਪ ਦਾ ਏਰੀਆ ਸੌਫਟ ਆਇਰਨ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲੂਪ ਦੇ ਏਰੀਆ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਹਾਰਡ ਸਟੀਲ ਆਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਪਰਮਨੈਂਟ ਮੈਗਨੇਟਸ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਵਰਤਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਹਾਰਡ ਸਟੀਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਲੋਸ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਹ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੀਕਲ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਸ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਸੂਟੇਬਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀਆਂ ਆਫ ਫੈਰੋਮੈਗਨੇਟਿਕ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲਸ ਸਟੱਡੀਡ ਫ्रॉम देयर ਹਿਸਟੈਰਿਸਿਸ ਕਰਵਸ ਹੈਲਪ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਸਿਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲਸ for various practical applications for example a permanent magnet the materials for making permanent magnets should possess high retentivity further 
the retentivity should last long even under rough handling conditions. Therefore, the materials must have high coercivity. Here, the second factor is more important than the first one. Hence, in spite of low retentivity, steel is preferred for making permanent magnets because of its larger coercivity. Some alloys with high coercivity have been developed such as Elni, Elnico, Tinconol, Wickalloy, etc. Next application is an electromagnet. As the material in electromagnets is subjected to cyclic changes, the hysteresis loss of the material must be small. The material should attain high values of I and B with low values of magnetizing field intensity H. On the basis of hysteresis loop for soft iron, steel, etc., it is clear that soft iron is the best choice for making of electromagnets. Next important example is a transformer core. Transformer cores, chokes, telephones, adi de diaphragms banon lay, varte jan wale materials, prati second lay cyclic changes experience kar de hun. Is kar ke low hysteresis loss wale materials in our devices lay sub to zyada change rende hun. In our the magnetic field B zyada honi changi rende hai. Soft iron which a dono hi gun pae jande hun. Ajikal a devices banon lay scientists ne kuj hor vadu effective alloys develop ki te hun. Jime perm alloys, mu metal, radio metal adi. Let me tell you something very interesting. When a piece of iron is brought into a magnetic field, it retains some magnetization even after the external field is removed. Once magnetized, the iron will stay magnetized indefinitely. This is the basic cause of memory in a hard disk drive. The hysteresis effect is also used when connecting complex circuits in modern nanoelectronics, electrochrome cells, memory effect, etc. In this scheme, shortcuts are made between adjacent components and the hysteresis helps to keep the components in a particular state while the other components change states. Having learned this much about magnetism, let us try some numerical problems on it. Before this, let us recall the formulae used. We know that the magnetic field due to an infinitely long current carrying wire B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 i by r. The magnetic field due to a circular coil B equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 pi i n a square upon x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. Speed of a charged particle in a cyclotron is V equal to Q R B upon M. The frequency of the cyclotron nu is equal to B Q by 2 pi M. V by H equal to tan delta. Here V and H are the vertical and horizontal components of the earth's magnetic field at a point where true angle of dip is delta. A horizontal overhead power line carries a current of 90 ampere in the east to west direction. What would be the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field due to the current at a point 1.5 meter below the line? The solution is current I is equal to 90 ampere and the distance R is equal to 1.5 meter. We know that the magnetic field due to an infinitely long current carrying wire B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 i by R. On substituting the corresponding values, we get B equal to 10 to the power minus 7 into 2 into 90 upon 1.5 or 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 
Tesla. For the direction, we can use right hand thumb rule according to which for a current in east to west direction, the direction of the magnetic field at a point below the line will be towards south. In our next problem, you have to calculate the magnetic field due to a circular coil of 500 turns and of diameter 0.1 meter carrying a current of 7 ampere at a point on the axis of the coil distant 0.12 meter as well as at the center of the coil. Here it is given that N is equal to 500, I equal to 7 ampere, diameter 2A equal to 0.1 meter or radius A is equal to 0.05 meter and the magnetic field along axial line at a distance X which is equal to 0.12 meter can be calculated using the relation B equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 pi I n A square upon X square plus A square to the power 3 by 2. On substituting the corresponding values, we get B equal to 10 to the power minus 7 into 2 into 3.14 into 7 into 500 into 0 0.05 square upon 0 0.12 square plus 0 0.05 square whole raised to the power 3 by 2. This is equal to 2 into 3.14 into 7 into 5 into 0 0.25 upon 0 0.0169 to the power 3 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 7. On solving this, we get B equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 Tesla. Whereas the magnetic field at the center of the coil, that is when x is equal to 0, will be B equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into 2 pi i n upon A. On substituting the corresponding values, we get B equal to 10 to the power minus 7 into 2 into 3.14 into 7 into 500 upon 0 0.05. Solving this, we have B equal to 4.4 into 10 to the power minus 2 Tesla. Let us try another problem. An electron of mass 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kg under the action of magnetic field moves in a circle of radius 2.0 centimeter at a speed of 3 into 10 raised to the power 6 meter per second. If a proton of mass 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg were to move in a circle of the same radius in the same magnetic field, find its speed. Here, the mass of electron is 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Radius of its path is 2.0 centimeter or 0 0.02 meter and the speed is 3 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Whereas mass of the proton is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Radius of its path is also 0 0.02 meter. Then to find the speed of proton in its circular path, we use the relation QVB equal to mv square upon r. That is, V equal to QRB upon M. So, we have VP upon VE equal to QP RP B into ME upon QE RE B into MP. Since magnetic field B, charge of a proton or an electron and radius of their path are the same. Therefore, the ratio of their speeds Vp by Ve 
is equal to Me by Mp or Vp is equal to Ve Me by Mp. On substituting the corresponding values, we get Vp equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 into 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 upon 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 27 which is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second or 1.5 kilometer per second. The next problem is if magnetic field density applied in a cyclotron is 3.5 tesla what will be the frequency of electric field that must be applied between the d's in order to accelerate protons here magnetic field density applied in a cyclotron is 3.5 tesla let the mass of proton be 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg we know that the frequency of the cyclotron nu is equal to bq by 2 pi m on substituting the corresponding values we get nu is equal to 3.5 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 upon 2 into 3.14 into 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 this gives nu is equal to 5.34 into 10 raised to the power 7 hertz. Next problem is the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field at a place is 0 0.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 tesla. If the angle of dip is 45 degree then what are the values of vertical component and total intensity of earth's field. Here in this problem the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field H is 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla and the angle of dip delta is 45 degrees. By using the relation for V and H that is V by H equal to tan delta and on substituting the values of h and delta we get v equal to h tan delta equal to 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 into tan 45 degrees therefore v is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla since the resultant magnetic field of the earth r is equal to under root of h square plus v square and v and h have same values therefore r is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 into under root 2 or 5.66 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla let me solve one more problem for you if delta 1 and delta 2 are observed angles of dip in two arbitrary vertical planes perpendicular to each other then what will be the true angle of dip here V and H are the vertical and horizontal components of the earth's magnetic field at a point where true angle of dip is Delta and tan Delta is given as equal to V by H to work this problem out let us consider two planes both are at right angles to each other let one plane make an angle theta with the meridian so that the second plane makes an angle 90 minus theta with it here vertical component should be unaffected in these two planes but the effective horizontal components in these two planes are h cos theta and h sin theta respectively therefore angle of dip for plane 1 is given as tan delta 1 equal to v by h cos theta or cos theta is equal to v by h tan delta 1 or tan delta by tan delta 1 
Similarly, the angle of dip for plane 2 is given as tan delta 2 equal to V by H sin theta or sin theta is equal to V by H tan delta 2 or tan delta by tan delta 2. On squaring and adding these two relations, we get cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to tan square delta into 1 by tan square delta 1 plus 1 by tan square delta 2 or 1 by tan square delta equal to 1 by tan square delta 1 plus 1 by tan square delta 2 or cot square delta is equal to cot square delta 1 plus cot square delta 2. Using this relation, we find the true value of angle of dip. With this, we come to the end of today's lesson. Let us summarize today's topic. Phenomenon of lagging of flux density behind the magnetizing force in a ferromagnetic material subjected to cycles of magnetization is known as hysteresis. When a ferromagnetic substance is subjected to a cycle of magnetization, the resultant BH curve traces a loop called hysteresis loop. The value of the magnetic intensity of a material when the magnetizing field is reduced to zero is called retentivity of the material. Whereas the value of the magnetizing field required to reduce the retentivity to zero is called coercivity of the material. The area enclosed by the hysteresis loop represents loss in energy as heat. I believe that all of you have now understood the hysteresis, hysteresis loss and be able to solve numerical problems on magnetism. Before the end of the class, let me ask you a few questions. The first question is, what is the importance of hysteresis loop? The answer is, the area enclosed by the hysteresis loop represents loss in energy as heat. The next question is, what type of material is preferred for making permanent magnets? The answer to this is, the materials for making permanent magnets should possess high retentivity. The next question is, one numerical problem. If an iron rod of 0.5 cm square area of cross section is subjected to a magnetizing field of 1200 ampere per meter, if susceptibility of the iron is 599, then what will be its permeability? The solution to this is, the area of cross section is given as 0.5 cm square or 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square and the susceptibility of the iron chi m is 599. We also know that the permeability of free space mu 0 is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere and by using the relation mu equal to mu 0 into 1 plus chi m we get mu equal to 4 into 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 1 plus 599 or 7.54 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla per meter per ampere. Menu asks hai ki tusi aaj de part te pura te andita hona hai numerical problems te hal nu changi tarah samaj liya hona hai ate hun is tarah de hor numericals vi tusi aap hi solve kar paoge part te dhyan den layi saryan da dhanwad nave vishe naal fir milange